Sarcastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be drawing a zombie starfish. So grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. Let's do this. We are going to be making a zombie starfish. Why? Uh, the real question is why not? Why not? Okay, zombie starfish, here we go. Grab your favorite art making medium and let's draw together zombie starfish. First of all, we need to draw a starfish shape. So we're gonna draw a curved triangle at the top for one arm. And it's a zombie, so we're gonna have two drooping arms on either side. So we're gonna add some drooping triangles on either side. They don't need to be perfect. It's a zombie. Everything on a zombie starfish is gonna be absolutely imperfect. So let's continue with that. We're gonna draw two wobbly legs or wobbly triangles at the bottom. <laughs> Just like let your hand go a little bit loose and that's gonna give you a super imperfect, well, line, right? Let it go loose. Okay, behind us, of course, is the ocean floor. So we're gonna draw a nice curving line in behind starfish and it's sand, so we need to add some pebbles to create some sand detail. Otherwise, is it really sand? That's the question. Okay. We got our sand details, but also we need some seaweed. So we're gonna draw some wavy lines, just a couple in that background. Boom! And wave around it. And that's how you get some instantaneous, fabulous seaweed. Now if I'm going too fast, hit that pause button and hit play whenever you're ready. Okay, zombie seaweed, um, <laughs> zombie seaweed. <laughs> zombie starfish needs some bubbles. Um, I'm not sure that, <laughs> do, do they breathe still when they're zombies? I don't know, but we're gonna add bubbles. Maybe the kelp is breathing because I don't know. I don't know what's going on guys, but there we go. We got some bubbles and now we need to make this a zombie. Start with the mouth, curving line, whoosh, right in the middle. On either side, curves at the bottom. And then bring those up and over to make a nice, Weird mouth. Of course we need some expression, so add some curving lines around it. Whoa, that was a crazy line. Okay, tongue. To make a tongue, we're gonna draw a lowercase letter M on the inside of that mouth, and then we're going to color in the back, black, something dark, shade it in, whatever you've got going on, use what you have. And now we have a wide open mouth. Great, right? Okay, zombie starfish needs two zombie eyes, so on either side of the mouth, we're gonna add a dot, and then we're gonna take those dots and turn them into a line that make a circle on either side. Okay, now they're blank circles. Now we need to make them nice and thick, borders around them, and that is going to give it that zombified look. And we're gonna keep those eyes nice and white after. Okay, two zombie eyes, curving line on either side, just like that. All right, so along the bottom of each leg, along the inside, we're gonna add a nice secondary line, and that's just gonna be the underside color of our starfish. I wanna do the same thing on the arms as well, keeping it nice and wobbly. We're also gonna add some maybe drool marks here for our zombie starfish. And then we're gonna add some some starfish texture, sorry. So we're gonna add some series of dotted lines. Doot, 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 doot. Up the center of each starfish arm to make some starfish type texture. Otherwise, is it even a starfish? Okay, now we need to add some barnacles and other things growing on our starfish here 
to give it some extra creepy texture. So I'm just adding some fungus, moss, well, I guess not moss, but like, you know, things growing. Algae, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> some algae growing on this zombified, and barnacles, of course. Barnacles grow on everything, don't they? And boy, do they hurt when you accidentally step on them with bare feet or like you trip at the beach and your legs scratch on barnacles on rocks. Oh my gosh, that is literally the worst pain. Okay, we got a zombified starfish. We need to, first of all, color in that algae. So we're gonna get going on coloring. You can grab whatever you want to color with and we're gonna start off by coloring in the algae parts so we don't forget that they are green and moldy. Okay, it's not moldy, it's just covered in algae and that's what happens in nature. It's important, did you know? We have to have algae. Actually, I think it's good for you too. I'm not saying go eat algae, but I'm saying <laughs> that I think some people eat algae and some things eat algae. Anyway, moving on about the, off that topic. We're gonna color that in. Color in the green kelp while we're there. And then we're gonna grab a lovely starfish color. Okay, so first of all, I wanna do an orange starfish. I'm gonna color the underside parts that are visible along the bottom here. I'm gonna color those in yellow. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna color the rest of the body with my orange. Again, we're leaving that. Um, the eyes white. We don't wanna color those in. I know I have a nice orange. Ah, there it is. There's an orange. Okay. Now, here's a tip. We're going to go along the body, and, but I'm going to leave a little strip of white along the top lines here. And that's just going to create a natural highlight on my design. So when I go to color in, I'll leave that in nice and white. It's not missing lines, right? It's not not coloring it in. We're leaving intentional white medium or paper, because that way it's creating a highlight in our artwork. And it's creating value in a sense that the light from above in the ocean is shining down and casting a nice glow on, well, this zombie. Lovely. Next, we're gonna grab a color for the tongue. Nice red tongue here. And barnacles. Okay, I'm gonna switch to gray. We're gonna do some shading and color in the barnacles at the same time. So I'm gonna color in the barnacles that I got going on here and there. And then we're gonna shade. So I'm gonna take my gray, and it could be a felt marker, it could be a wax crayon, whatever you got. Take that gray and just go along the bottom and shade in wherever you think there might be a shadow. I always like to do underneath the mouth. I love to go around the eyes. Oh yeah, doesn't that add a nice little vibe there? Underneath these sort of drool marks that I haven't quite done yet. And then of course, on the ground, which I have yet to color. Boom, okay. I need a ground color. Just gonna color part of it. Okay, I'll grab a blue. And I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna go along the inside edge of the eyes. They have a nice little glow and it's gonna make a little pop of color. A very, very thin line, very thin. But we're also gonna use it to shade bubbles. Not all shading has to be black. It could be any, it could be blue, it could be purple, it could be pink. It can shade with all kinds of different things, right? We're just creating darker values. That's what a shadow is. Oh yeah, the drool, whoa. 
And I just made a little mistake. That's okay. Go like that. Whoosh. Beautiful. And finally, we're gonna color in those rocks and mean the pebbles. And of course, I'm gonna do purple because it's art. We gotta be fun about it, don't we? Make some fun times here. Gorgeous, and just like that, your lovely zombie starfish is done. Thank you so much for watching this awesome video. Please make sure that you hit that like button and in the comments, tell me what you would like to see in the next episode as well. If you would like to see more episodes, please hit that subscribe button. It will definitely allow me to continue to make these fabulous art videos. Well, for more art lessons, check out Artastic Kids. It is my online streaming art lesson community for kids and families so that you can make art with easy to find art mediums anytime, anywhere. Artastic Kids is where kids can unleash their creativity, build essential skills, and have fun. So visit artastickids.com to learn more. Yeah.